Dear Agorist, good day. I'm happy you're staying watched for my videos on fish diseases, cases I encountered during my work as a fish doctor. And today it's already number 84. Of course, when you deal monthly with uh, fish diseases, I can collect a lot of details and information and I try to share with you uh, my findings. So you might be able to learn to diagnose better the problems, to prevent the wrong medications, to prevent uh, the wrong treatments, and to be aware what you should watch out for when you deal with uh, diseased fish. So I will show you my uh, PowerPoint presentation with my uh, observations I found on the tiger barb, in this case, number 84. The tiger barb, now the scientific name is Desmopuntius tetrazona, the tiger barb, and with that, which had a parasitic worm infection, the nematode, a kind of capillaria, I always call it all capillaria, but there are different kinds. Uh, but here you see the fish in the tank. Some are looking well, but look at the back. Some look separated from the group, getting skinny, getting darker, wasting away and dying. Also here in the group, you see here, this one here, look, getting skinnier, not moving so well. I'll show you again. And usually that's how it starts, you know, before they start dying. And you see a few, like here, this one here, not looking so great, looking weaker, uh, thinner, uh, darker in coloration. Look, here is another one here, I put here. Let's point out to you here, this one. And that's how it starts. And that's the time you should start uh, looking what is the problem of the fish and, and perform a diagnose uh, using the microscope and taking out the most weakest one because it's gonna die in the next 24 hours. And it's better to sacrifice for the well-being of the whole group of fish. And here we found nothing specific on the gills or the skin, but in the name, in the intestine, we, we found these elongated worms, round worms called nematodes, capillaria. It's a kind of capillaria. Typical for these are those eggs here, the, all those eggs are sitting here, ready to be expelled by with the excrements and to reinfect other fish in the aquarium because when they're eating, you, they infect the other fish. So see also my case number 47, uh, that was also tiger barb from the same source, the same farmer, uh, which were larger size tiger barbs, but had the same problem as these small ones because those are young tiger barbs. So it's usually caused by in the breeder when they have been uh, fed with uh, diseased fish uh, or, or kept with diseased fish, I would mean, and also by feeding live food, which contains eggs or worm larvae, particularly eggs from this capillaria. You can see the fish that become weak. You better put to sleep, euthanize them, or put narcotic product like uh, Narcomor Plus or Macquarie Munster. First, try to give perfect conditions. Uh, what you can do uh, as an aquarist is daily siphoning the bottom two times a day so you can remove the eggs or worms. Uh, also, regular cleaning of the filter so you get rid of the eggs, which reproduce new babies a new reinfection to the whole group in the aquarium. So your physical interaction of, of uh, siphoning and cleaning filter will certainly be able to help. Of course, you will need to do a treatment like uh, products with Prazacantel, Levamizole, Fenbendazole to control the free worms. I mean, the worms in the intestine worms, which coming out of the eggs and ask your veterinarian to for some advice. And important to think to retreat after seven to ten days because the eggs can come out so in within seven to day, ten days. So think about retreating after uh, uh, after some time to control the outbreaks. You can also help feeding your fish with the pumpkin or by fish food pumpkin. Uh, it's a seed extract that helps uh, the fish in controlling those. Uh, nematodes or other worms and you have to feed at least 20 days and do not feed any other food you know that's so that the pumpkin has a best effect in helping the fish to control the worm infection in uh, in the gut so i hope uh, this case uh, helped you 
to understand uh, this part of a fish disease, uh, worms. Worms are common, common in our hobby, yes. Particularly when you're feeding uh, live food. Think about it. Take care. I hope this teaches you a lesson in keeping fish in the best condition. Thank you.